Hello everyone and welcome back to our YouTube channel. So in this video we will learn about what is security token in Salesforce. Now here first we need to understand why we need the security token in Salesforce. So whenever we use the external tool in the Salesforce at that time to connect the external tool with the Salesforce org we need the security token to authorize the org. So in this video we will deep dive into what is security token, how we can get the security token in Salesforce so that using that token we can connect the external tool with the salesforce org for that let's take an example of data loader tool so here i have installed the data loader tool here i am opening the data loader now here you can see here we have operations that we can perform using the data loader now as i click on this insert operation then here we need to log in with the salesforce here we have two options and then password authentication here i am clicking on password authentication now here you can see here your username then password and the security token so how we can log in using the password authentication and connect the data loader to the salesforce org that we will see in this video so watch the video till end and don't miss any step and if you are new to our channel hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon so whenever you post a new video you will get an update now before moving ahead here is very big announcement for the salesforce geekers we recently launched a salesforce admin training course who really want to learn the salesforce from the scratch we explain every concept in a simple and easy to understand way so you can learn step by step with the confidence so this course is for beginner to the advanced level in that we have covered 10 modules you will get lifetime access so here you can see here we have covered 10 modules introduction to salesforce salesforce navigation and setup after that salesforce user management then we also have covered salesforce apps object and tabs after that the salesforce fields and formulas ui customization in salesforce after that salesforce reports and dashboards salesforce data management and salesforce flows so in this course we have covered everything from beginner to the advanced level so if you are serious about launching your salesforce career check out the course now we have provided the link in the description box you can go through it now let's jump to the topic so first we will understand what is security token in salesforce so the security token in salesforce is an automatically generated case sensitive alphanumeric key that is used to authentication when the accessing salesforce from the outside the trusted network such as from apis third party application or external integrations so in the installing data loader application in that we have seen the data loader is not inbuilt feature from the salesforce to use the data loader we need to externally download that tool and then we can use that tool with the integrate of salesforce so that tool we can call it as the external tool or the third party application now whenever we want to use data loader at that time we need to log in with salesforce credentials and then we can use that data loader in the salesforce so why we need a security token in this tool so let's understand now here i am opening the data loader tool as i open the data loader tool so here you will see the operations that we can perform using the data loader now for example i want to perform the insert operation for that here i am clicking on insert operation button now here you can see in the first step we need to log in with the salesforce credential to the data loader so here we have two options first one is org authorization and then another one is password authorization now first we will see using the password authorization so here i am selecting this option and then here we need to provide username password security token and then we can log in in the salesforce org to use the data loader so here let me copy the login credentials now here i have provided the login credentials which is the username and then password now as i click on login button to get access here you can see verifying here you can see we got an error check your username and password security token that means we are not able to log in even our username and password correctly provided so here comes the security token into the picture to give the extra layer to the security for the salesforce organization now here we have provided the username and password after that we need to provide that security token also so where we can get this security token here I am opening the salesforce org and then in the logged in user here you can see here we have profile click on this profile and then here we have settings option click on it now the logged in user personal information will open after that in the left hand side here you can see as you scroll down here we have reset my security token as you click on it now here we need to click on reset security token to get the new token while we are using the external applications so here I am clicking on this reset security token and then we got the message check your email 
So while creating the user profile, the email that you provided on that email, the security token will get sent. So here I'm opening my email. Here you can see in the update, I got the email from the support, your new Salesforce security token. As I open this email, here you can see the username and the security token and the security token is case sensitive. So let me copy the security token. And then again, we need to open the data loader. So here I am opening the data loader. And then here you can see in the password with the security token. Now here we need to provide the security token after the password that we provided. So here first we have provided the password and then here I am pasting the security token that I copied. After that, as I click on this login button, here you can see verify Salesforce and the login gets successful. That means the data loader has been opened and from here we can perform the operations that we want to perform. Now here, let me cancel this one. Again, here I am closing the data loader because I want to show you how we can bypass this security token using the authorization, using the org authorization. So again, here I'm opening the data loader, select the operation that you want to perform. And here you can see before this, we have used this password authentication. Now we will use org authentication. So here we have selected org authentication and then click on this login button. Now here you can see the enter code. This code will automatically generate if you already have logged in your Salesforce org, here you can see, here I have logged in my Salesforce org. Now here we need to connect this data loader to the Salesforce org, for that click on this connect button. And then here we need to give access, for that click on this allow button. And here you can see the message, you are connected. As I click on this continue button, and then again as I open the data loader, here you can see we directly logged in in the data loader to use the operation that we can perform using the data loader tool. So in this way, using the org authentication, we can bypass the security token. But the security token is very important to add the extra layer of the security to the, our Salesforce org. Now let's navigate to the PPT. So we have seen why we need security token because it's very important when we access the Salesforce from the outside the trusted network, such as from the APIs, then third party application or external integrations. Now let's move to the properties. So here you can see the purpose of security token. It enhances the security. That means, so it enhances the security by adding an extra layer of authentication when logging in from the untrusted networks or when using the tools like data loader, workbench or the third party applications. Now we also have seen how it is work. When we log in via API or external tool, we must append the security token after our password. So these are all about security token in Salesforce. So in this video, we have seen what is security token, why we need the security token, then after that, how we can generate new security token in Salesforce, and then I will explain how it is work in the Salesforce. After that, I also explain how we can bypass the security token in the data loader using the org authentication login. I hope whatever I explained, you understood that. If you like the video, hit the like button, subscribe our channel, and press the bell icon. So whenever you post any new video, you will get an update. Thank you.